What's up guys, welcome back. Today we have another mystery box. We haven't done a mystery box in so, so long. This one is valued at $500. The last one was a thousand. This one's a bit lower, but let's get straight into it. I have not even checked at all. I haven't had any sort of look. It is fresh. I picked them up from the markets this morning. Are you kidding? Okay, let's get straight into it. I picked these up this morning. Uh, from the markets, here we have the receipt, nothing crazy. Okay, oh boy, I am seeing some strange things. Let's cut this off. There we go. Okay, wow, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let's leave it there so I can't see anything. Oh, cool, I finally got my own one. My mother has one of these. I've wanted to crush hers for a very long time. That's very cool. Finally got my own. Oh, a baby baler. Pause it. Okay, so this here is actually a shrimp home. And what these do, through their life, there'll be two shrimps, right? And they will live inside of this, and through their life, they'll build up in it, and then lay the eggs in it, and then leave once they hatch. But that's pretty cool. I thought that was really cool. Then here we have a Noho Empora, pretty, pretty classic, common sort of shell, like that there. Okay, what else we got? We have a big old Goliath conch, I think it is. I might be wrong. God, it's massive. I already have one of these, but it's a big boy. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. I'm hoping for some crazy things today. We have a partridge ton. I have one of these as well. I have pretty much everything that's in this box, but it's still cool. Okay, I'm trying not to look. Let's grab this one. Oh, I know what this is. You can tell by the spine sticking out of it. Gosh. Hopefully it's gem and I'll be able to keep it because I hate shipping these ones. Because they always break <laughs> as it breaks. <laughs> Is it gem? Has it got any broken? Maybe once I'm done with it. Get off. Dude, look at that. That's actually gem, pretty much. Oh, it's missing like one spine. That's sweet. So this is a Murex Pectin. That's pretty nice. I do have one of these. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's right behind me here below. Oh, it's there. I'll show you after the video. Okay, so these ones, obviously they're very fragile, but it is obviously very hard to find them because of all these spines. So they're mainly found in the water where they can't be, you know, rolled over and broken through the surf. Okay. We have a turban shell of some sort. I have no idea what this is called. Wow, it's got a blue ink stain on it. No idea what it's called. If you guys know, comment down below. But that's a turban shell. Then we have a big boy spider conch. Very nice. Comment down below if you guys own one of these. I do. How many do I own? One. I own one. Okay, let's see. Next up, we have a helmet shell. You guys know uh, I have the... Oh, nice. <laughs> I have the biggest, or the second biggest helmet shell in the world sitting right here, right behind me. I actually own that, of course. That's why it's in my house. But next one, ew, this Imperial feels pasty. <laughs> but... <laughs> This one is a big boy. It has, it looks like it's got a growth mark, but it has actually got really nice patterns on it. And it's not actually faded. It just feels a bit pasty. I don't like the feel of that. <laughs> then we have a striated cone. Pretty common shell. I haven't found one yet. That's because it's not common in my area, but it is pretty cool. Uh, it looks pretty damn good condition though. Let's make some room. Let's chuck in there. Okay, I'm trying not to look. Oh, we have a... A volute. 
No idea what sort of volley. I'm not too knowledgeable with common shells like this, but it is pretty nice. Okay, next shells. <clears throat> I do not know what is in here. Uh, I was only able to see the the top lot of shells and I can't see any more. Here, I used to have one of these actually, and I sold it, but it is a giant green turbo shell or turban shell. I really like these because I have the operculums that go with them. Let me see if I could find one and I'll explain a bit about it. It acts as a trap door for these type of shells, especially these shells. As you can see, if I put it right there, actually the other side out, right there, their live animal will use it at its door. Good so, just like that. And it'll use it as its door and then when it comes out to eat, it'll obviously sort of move its leg and check out what it is. So, yeah, that's what a operculum does. But I'll definitely be keeping this one. I don't have one of these anymore. So, what do we have next? A tiger. Very, very common for me. I have a bunch of these. I have a couple of freak cowries as well. Just like this one here. But this one is really faded, actually. It's really dark. Can you see that well on the camera? Yeah, cool. Right, we'll leave that here. I want something crazy. Oh, a burnt murex. That's actually got really long spines on it. I've never seen them with that long spines like this. That's cool. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Another spider conch. I do have quite a few of these spider conchs as well. I'm not sure on the exact name. Whenever they have long arms like this, I usually just call them a spider conch because it's the easiest thing. Let's move this box over here. But, oh, I see some in here. I know what this is. This here is a, do you know what it is? It is not a textile. <laughs> it does look like it though. This is a princely cone. This is the most deadliest cone shell or cone snail on the earth. Um, a lot of people do get it mistaken for a textile because of its pattern and that's okay because they do obviously look a lot like it. But there is a, mm, there's not too much of a difference between them because they can both kill you. But they are definitely very cool looking. What do you guys think? I think that's really cool. I do have one of those as well. What's this? Oh, see boobies. Remember I was going to buy one today? <laughs> no, I'm going to keep this. This is kind of green. It might be green or it might be the room. I'm not sure. But that's a sea booby or a Sputnik. That's just what we call them here in Australia. You might never, you might have never heard of that before. A lot of people haven't, but yeah. Here we have another Burt Murex. This one, this one's kind of gross to me. I don't really like this shell. Um, I think it just looks very fake and pasty. Again, I, I really don't like it. Like chalky? Yeah, chalky, pasty, yeah. Different, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> Here we have another Murex. You'd be surprised, uh, this is a Murex, just like these two here. But again, I don't really like this one. It does look fake to me, and it might to you. If you guys, if you, I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. If you guys know every single species name, and uh, yeah, just species name, for every single shell so far, I want you to comment down below what it is, and keep going with it. What's this? I think this is a deer, and I'm right. A deer. <laughs> Pretty common, I've found a lot of those. Let me see, I've probably found 30 of them. That's a good shot, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, I've probably found, oh no, not 30. Maybe 15 of them, they're pretty, they're pretty common at my um, home beach, so nothing too crazy there. What else do we got? I'm trying to reach back in here. Oh, we got a, I know exactly what this one is. It's dirty. <laughs> This is a trapezium, trapezium trumpet. See, it has the little lines all up on the inside of the shell. I really like these. I like the pattern on these. They really remind me of a Florida tulip as well. They're pretty interesting. Okay, let's go back in here where I can't see. Ooh, we have a harper shell. So this harper shell, I actually know a bit about these. So the ridges on these shells, they actually are sharper on one end because they actually dig themselves under the sand, just like this, to hide from prey. So that's a pretty cool story. What else we got? 
what is that? Oh, uh, Apple, an Apple Murex or something? Comment down below if you guys know the name of this. I do not have one of these shells, I'm pretty sure, but uh, they are pretty ugly to me and I don't really like them too much, but they are pretty cool because they're a bigger shell than what I find. What is this one? Ooh, that's sweet. Check out the pattern on that. That's cool. Get a closer look at that. That's epic. I really like that one. Okay, here we have a another cone shell, but this one's a betuline cone. B E T U L I N E cone. I have three of these, I believe. I have a giant one somewhere. Let me see if I can see it. Yeah, it's over there. It's like double this size. Biggest one I've ever seen. Giant one. I really like the betcha line cones. It's hard to find yellow cones. What is this? Another cone shell? Oh, okay. We got a... A... I'm going to say a leaded cone. It's hard to tell the difference between a leaded and a leopard because one of them has uh, orange dots as well as black and white dots. So I'm going to say a leaded cone right there. Nothing too crazy again. Pretty nice though. All these shells are nice, obviously. Um, depending on where you are in the world, they'll be that rare. What is this? Oh, another one of those uh, turban shells. They're really cool. I'm liking the turban shells lately. This one does appear to be uh, polished and sort of waxed up though. But that's okay. I like them. What do we got? Oh, oh, that's tiny. Wow. So this is a Mitra Mitra, I believe. A red Mitra. Really tiny. I'm going to get mine and show you guys just how tiny this one is. Who is it? No, it's red. So this one's mine. This is the biggest one I've ever seen. That's tiny. That's crazy. That's kind of cool. I'll probably be keeping that. I like that. Ooh. We got another <laughs> topper shell. I'm, I'm, I'm iffy on a topper shell or a turban shell because topper shells are flat as they go up, whereas turban shells are sort of round like that. So I'm going to say it's a topper shell. If I'm wrong, comment down below. If I'm right, comment down below. <laughs> okay. Ooh. This is a fig cone. That's it. A fig cone. I have one right here. I also have a bigger one over there. So it's the exact same, just a little bit less polished. Very nice. When I first saw these cones, I thought they were fake. Because just look at all of the lines on them. They do look fake, right? To me, they look fake. But I like it. Ooh, don't look. <laughs> oh, the cowrie you said you like. That's Right, so this is a tiger cowrie, right? But as you can see, it's got uh, a totally purple top. Now, any uh, cowrie shell that has a purple top, that purple is the last layer of the cowrie. So if you look closely in there, you can see straight through to my finger when it's tapping on it. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I hope it is. But yeah, that is the last layer of the top of the shell. And that's all yours. <laughs> You right? Yeah, that's all yours. Because you. you said you liked it this morning when we went to pick them up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what this is? Do you know? Spiky one. Spiky one? <laughs> it's a marlin spike, so you nearly got it. <laughs> but I do have one of these as well. It's there in the camera, I hope you can see. You can't. But this one's a bit of a freak because it's sort of fat on one side. It's kind of cool, nothing too crazy. But it is definitely cool. Funny story about this. Uh, the pirates actually used to use these to tangle up their rope and keep them, you know, tight for their flags. Back, what, 400 years ago or something? I don't know when the pirates were made. <laughs> but then we have another olive shell. Pretty common. But these, these are... These are really aren't fond of Australia, but... They're okay. I think this might be a leaded olive. I'm not too sure about all these olives because we don't find them here. Nonetheless, they are nice. Ooh, T 
you know what this is called? I'm pretty sure it's an elongated Triton. I'm pretty sure. I also have one. I have everything in this box, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll add that right there. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll do a guessing game for you guys right now. What is this calorie here? What is it? There you go, you got a full look. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, we have another t topper shell, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's a topper because again, it goes up straight. But I really love that, uh, the color on the inside, that's cool. Leave him here. Got some smaller ones. Oh, remember this morning he said, yeah, I got these, right? And I said, yeah, I got them. Cause I actually find these. Let me see if I can, can show you one. I don't find them quite this size, quite that length of a spire, but I do find them. I found this one. This is the one he bought me or I got. So very nice. I've actually never seen one with that long of a spire. So that's interesting. Next up. We have a, what is it? Do you know what it is? Coloring cactus. Close. It's a flag cone. I used to think they were captain cones too because they look like it, don't they? Pretty common captain cone, but again, a very valuable piece in a collector's collection. I like it. Okay, we have another, not another, we haven't got one yet. An ovula ovum. We actually found one of these in my second most recent video that was alive. So that was very cool. If you want to check that out, the uh, video is, uh, I believe it's called, I found my, no, I found a one in 10, no, I found another one in 10,000 Limousina Cowrie. That's the video title on my channel. Okay, we don't have too much left now. We have a tibia. Martini, maybe? I think that's what it's called. Uh, I'm not too sure because I think the Martini might have a longer spire than this, although it might have been broken off, but it is still cool nonetheless. We'll chuck that right in the front there. Let's get something interesting out. Oh, a little golden olive. That's pretty cool. I've never seen one like that color. That is indeed cool. What do we got? Let's pull out two here. What are these called? Do you know what this is called? You know the purple on the end? Cone. What sort of cone? Probably. A virgin cone, of course. And then do you know what this is called? I don't know. A dirty cone, because it's got more stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called a, a Mitra. It's, part, it's the same one as that red one, wherever it's gone, the tiny one. One of them's a Mitra Mitra. This one is like, I can't tell. I can't tell you. Anyway, those are two more shells. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, nine more, ten more shells. Okay, let's pull out a couple here. Another turban, classic. It's actually a juvenile one of those. So now we've got the whole family here. That's cool. Sweet. I'll definitely be keeping none of those. Another spider conch, of course. The little arms, very cute, very cool. I love the black inside of it, the teeth, sort of. That's what we call the teeth. That's not actually their teeth, but they're pretty common. Uh, uh, I like these. So this is called an eyed cowrie. Eyed, like your eyes. Um, I like it because it's got a little face on the inside. So you got the two eyes, then the mouth. I think they're pretty cool. I got a massive one. Again, I have everything in this box, apparently. <laughs> Let me grab it, if I can find it. Yeah, it's actually not that massive. <laughs> it is compared to that one though. So, those are it there. This is mine, this is the one I just got. Really cool, I like the smiles on them. They're cool. Very cool, let's put him back. He's a bit boring. Okay, what is next? What are we gonna pull out? Two. Okay, we have a, a scallop that is actually conjoined. I like the conjoined scallops, they're pretty cool. No idea what it's called, no idea where it's from. I don't know too much about scallops, I really don't find that many, but I do like them. I do have a bunch of Japanese ones up there, 
that I found 130 feet deep. If you want to check those out, check out my uh, Instagram page. This is a another mature of some sort. Not sure what it's called because again, I don't find too many of them, but they are pretty rare, I believe. Really nice. I like that. I don't actually have one, so I'll probably be keeping that. This is not an Arabian. This is like a Englantina or something cowrie. Uh, I have found like three of them. It's really hard to differentiate the Arabians versus these ones because they look so similar. When the Arabian has uh, sort of round checkered patterns where the Eglantina, whatever it's called, has uh, straight patterns, I believe. Or it might be the other way around. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Next up, we have a... General cone, I think. I think it's a general cone. Comment down below if I'm correct. I don't find these as well. I don't find too many big cones. Uh, the biggest cones I find are textile cones or captain cones, but I've only ever found one very large captain cone. We only have a couple left. Here we have a, it's either a strombus or a conch. I'm pretty sure it is a strombus because of the uh, really flared out piece there. But I really like I really like these ones because of the dark sort of maroon purple color inside. They're really cool. Alrighty, last two shells here. Yep, last two. And we have some tiny black cowries. Really not sure on these names here. I've never personally found one, but if you know them, comment down below. Really, really cool. Okay, that is the mystery box. That was a $500 mystery box. Let's get this box out of the way. It's full of sand, it's yuck. Get it out of my face. Um, but that is everything, that's all we got. And that was okay, that was pretty good. Um, if you do want any of these shells, they will all be up for sale on my website, shellcare.com, because I will not be keeping these because as I said many times, I have all of these. So if you want them, definitely check that out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, mate. <laughs> so here's everything we got from the box, guys. Really, really nice selection. Got a big boy helmet shell here. I love those helmets. Big boy baila. Not bad, I love the half shells too. This one's definitely cool. I'll be keeping this for sure.